Mr. All Black Everything Watch how I flash on him Naughty by nature, be careful before I rash on him Banks Hey, yo, what is good YouTube? It is Robin Banks Thank you guys so much for 500 subs It's been a long time We finally hit the mark And I finally reached my goal and what I really wanted to do for my 500 sub special was a metronome battle, but I can't figure out how to get my muse to be Wi Fi eligible. So instead, I decided to do this little backstory on why Houndoom is my favorite Pokemon. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now, of course, we're going to start off with the obvious stuff. I mean, it's just a cool looking Pokemon. Look at it, it's awesome. It's all black, everything, which you know I love. It's a dog with horns on it. Uh, it's based on the Hellhound. It's typing is unique. Nobody else has it. Dark Fire, which is amazing. It has great stats. Uh, 95 base speed, 110 special attack. It's really good. Um, those are the obvious things though. You know, the way it looks, the, the typing, and the good stats. Now the real reason why this is my favorite Pokemon is because of something that happened when I was just a little kid. I was in 7th grade playing the game you might have heard of Pokemon Silver and once you beat Johto as you know you get to head to Kanto you catch new Pokemon and you battle all the gym leaders from Kanto now when I first got to Kanto I was thinking okay I'm gonna battle the gym leaders in order but because of Snorlax I couldn't go to Pewter so I'm like okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the bicycle path and then that way I will get to Pewter from Cinnabar Island but once I got to the Route 7, the one right next to Celadon, I'm like, hey, you can catch Vulpixes in here, so let me go in this grass. And this is what happened. I ran into this beauty, Hound the Oro Pier. Now, the only time I've seen this thing is from the Team Rocket leader. He's the only person in the entire game that had one. And it was cool as hell. I mean, not to mention this Hound Doom gave me problems. So I already knew this was a good Pokemon, so I just had to capture it. So as soon as they captured this, I knew for a fact it was going to go right on my team. I had a furry on my team that had um, the three elemental elemental punches, which I thought was cool at the time, but now that I know, actually know about Pokemon, I know that the furry special attack is terrible, but <laughs> I was in the 7th grade. And I see it's typing Dark Fire. That's pretty damn cool. So first thing I did was I put Experience Share on this thing, because it was level 17 or 15, and my Pokemon are all the way in the 40s there. So I go to the bicycle path, um, just beating trainers, trying to get to Cinnabar Island while um, training up my Honda with the, ex the experience share. But once I get to Future, I see that it's blocked off. I can't get to Cinnabar Island from here. So I'm like, okay, what the hell do I do now? And I'm like, you know what? Let's just battle these gym leaders. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get to um, Pewter from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and battle these gym leaders so this is what's going on this is a true story by the way everything that happened here I don't know if it was exact but this is a complete true story exactly how it happened when I was in seventh grade playing Pokemon Silver this is my same exact team same exact way I got my Houndour and everything now I skipped the I skipped a bunch here because all I remember from my Houndoom is that it evolved here in Cerulean so this is the moment of truth finally evolves at level 24 it finally evolved which is awesome because it evolves so early and it's such a good Pokemon but that being said I go ahead and finish all these trainers off um, somebody told me that Misty was here I couldn't find her at the time but you know I eventually found her here's where the story gets interesting we had the Sabrina's gym because I'm pretty much running through everybody with no problems so I'm like okay I'm gonna run through Sabrina with no problem So here I go, um, I take out her Espeon, take out her Mr. Mime. This is a true story. Her Alakazam comes out and just fucking wrecks my team. <laughs> it does. I remember this completely. I was at my uncle's house. I remember everything. I remember this discreetly. Her Alakazam with Recover and her Hyper Potions and Psychic was demolishing my team. And finally, she gets rid of all my Pokemon and Froze. Probat. Meganium, Espeon, Gyarados, all gone. All I had left was this little level 27 Houndoom on my team. 
that I've never used. I have no idea what this thing does. I don't even know what dark type is at this point. I'm just a, well, how old was I, like 12? I, I don't know what this thing does. So um, I just sent it out because I have no choice. At the time I didn't have revives. And I'm like, okay, I'm pretty much done. I can't be here. Then I use bite. It's super effective. And I'm like, hold on. Psychic is weak to something other than ghost. It's weak to dark. So I'm like, okay, well, it's still 21 levels higher than me. There's no way I'm going to beat her unless for some reason she either A, ran out of psychics, which I don't think she did, or B, she doesn't use it. So after using bite a couple times, not getting the, um, the critical hit, I go ahead and use smog, and I get the poison, which is great. So my plan is going on good. This is exactly what happened when I was little, by the way. And finally, she does use a psychic. It doesn't affect Houndoom. It doesn't affect Houndoom. That is the first time I realized that psychic doesn't affect dark. And this thing I caught off the street at level 27 won me a badge. And from then on, it was a wrap. It automatically became a favorite Pokemon on my team. <laughs> I used it the whole rest of Kanto. I didn't even care anymore. This thing was demolishing everything. Everything in its path. Even if I was weak against it. Even if it was stronger than me. I was just using my Houndoom on it and just destroying it. This thing was so good. It automatically became my favorite Pokemon on my team. And I had some great Pokemon. I loved Ampharos. I loved Espeon. But this thing here was just amazing. Then I brought it to Erica's gym and it was a cakewalk. I mean, look at this. It was ridiculously easy. I mean, sheesh, man. This thing instantly became my favorite Pokemon from Johto. It still wasn't my favorite Pokemon at the time. But it was definitely my favorite Johto Pokemon. Now, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald came out. You couldn't get one in Ruby and Sapphire. But then in Emerald, I got one. And found out that I can learn Solar Beam. Which is amazing. So I would pair it up with my Groudon. Of course, back then, there was no such thing as Ubers or anything like that. So I would just pair it up with my Groudon, put the sun up. You know, we all had, we all had link cable battles back in the day. No, it's not Wi-Fi like it is now. <laughs> the good old days at the Boys and Girls Club. So I would set up my Groudon first, obviously. Get the sun up. If somebody wants to send it there. Swamper or whatever. Later on in the match. I would send it to my Haldoom. And just old core what it would be. And I thought that was amazing. Houndoom was growing to be my favorite Pokemon. Little by little it just was. And then finally. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum came out. Now Diamond and Pearl. I don't know if you guys knew this. Not, I'm pretty sure you did. Diamond and Pearl. Only has two fire types in the entire game. The Chimchar Evolution line. And the Ponyta line. So Ponyta Rapidash. Those are the only two fire types in the entire game. Now. When I was playing Diamond version, I caught myself a Ponyta, and that was my fire type. When I played through Pearl, I knew that the game didn't have any other fire types, so I picked Chimchar as my starter, and that was my fire type. Fire type is a good type, you should have it on almost all your teams. Then Platinum came out, my starter was um, Empoleon, because I had used the other two before. I always start with Grass type, by the way, so in Diamond I had Church Rig. But in per Platinum version, I had a Empoleon as my starter. And I didn't have a fire type. So it wasn't too late in the game. You know, I'm pretty much strolling through. And I get to Vealstone City. Now once I'm at Vealstone City, at this point I still don't have a fire type. Um, I think at this time I had an Eevee from Heart of Home. And I was kind of planning on evolving it into a Flareon, even though I didn't want to. I really didn't. I'd rather have an Espeon or a Vaporeon, even a Jolteon. So I'm going through the grass. And what should happen to pop out? My motherfucking homie Houndour coming to save the day one more time. Of course I caught it. I love this thing. Every single game I had this thing, I loved it. And of course it did wonders for me. The only gyms it was weak against in this gen was the rock gym, which is first, and the fighting gym, which is third. Oh, and the water gym, I forgot about Crash Awake. <laughs> but besides that, we had the ice gym which is good against the steel gym which is good against the ghost gym which is good against I mean I just wrecked 
face with this thing once again. This thing came through in the clutch, and at that point, this thing became my favorite Pokemon of all time. Then Gen 6 did the unthinkable and gave it Omega Evolution. It just looks even more amazing. It looks great. Its stats are great. I wish instead of giving them a little bit more defense, they would have given them a little bit more speed. I would have loved to see it like at 120, 125. It would have been a wrap if that thing had that much speed. For real. But they decided to give it 115 speed. But I digress. This thing is great. I'm always using it. Beating up on teams. I mean. It's just a good Pokemon. I mean, as you can see from this video here, it is not my home noon because I don't have a capture card and I didn't want to use a low quality video for this video. But it's somebody else's home doom and it's just Rex face. And one little side note, home doom was also used by the burglars in the Pokemon games. The burglars, if you don't know, um, they're in the Pokemon Mansion in the Gen 1 games and they are in the Goldenrod Underground in the Gen 2 games. They usually use like Growlithe and Hound Hours. Before I did this YouTube thing, I was thinking of how or what I was gonna, you know, come out with. What was my persona gonna be? My character. And it was pretty simple, honestly. After I knew what my favorite Pokemon was. So, unlike most, I didn't choose my mascot. My mascot chose me. Thank you guys for watching. It is Robin Banks, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.